When the debate about frontier massacres uh, got into the media about 20 years ago, the debate was, were frontier massacres widespread across colonial Australia, or were the massacres few and far between, that they were an aberration, they very rarely happened. So I began my research testing that hypothesis, and I found many more massacres than I ever imagined happened. I thought there might have been a couple of hundred at the most, and that each had not only its own story, but each was very different, and each, in a sense, had happened because of very strange circumstances. What the research project has found is that the massacres were widespread, that they followed the frontier, uh, across Australia, you can follow that on the map, and that they were very carefully planned. They weren't an accident, and that it was designed to get the Aboriginal people out of the way, whether it was to teach them a lesson or to uh, make them so uh, timid that they were easier to employ. But clearly it was, I think the overall purpose was to reduce the population of Aboriginal people in Australia and keep them away from the big water holes so that cattle and sheep would have ready access. Well, it's clear that my generation has been protected from this kind of information. And when I do talk to people of my generation about these events, they're incredibly shocked. Some people don't want to know anymore, but many others do. And I find that a younger generation of school children, for example, do want to know what happened and do want to make amends. And we're now finding that this new information in the MAP project itself is now becoming embedded in the school curriculum. So that's a big step forward. And I think it's helping us to change our understanding of the past.